Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity and welcome to a lip swatching video. It has been a long time since I've done a lipstick or liquid lipstick wear test video. I think I said lip swatch. I meant liquid lipstick wear test video um, and I wanted to start getting back into them and for today I'm going to be testing out the Clove and Hollow liquid lipsticks. They sent me four of them. I'm going to be doing a wear test and then I will include lip swatches of all the colors that I do have just so you guys can see what they look like. But yeah, if that sounds at all interesting to you, we can just go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so I figured I'll go ahead and apply and then we can talk more about it and swatch them out just so we can get the lip wear test going. Ooh, my light's too bright. So anyway, I'm going to be wearing the color Sugar Bear just because with this eye look, I feel like it's the best one to go with. That red won't work. And this, I almost went with this because I thought it was a black, but it's more of a blue tone black, so I don't think that will work. So we're just gonna go with this one. Okay, so here it is. I feel like it kind of goes with um, the color in my crease, uh, not so much the neon, but um, here's what we have. They did say to make sure you exfoliate your lips, and of course, you know, you have nicely moisturized lips, so I have been slathering on the lip balm the past couple days. I did last, or like a week and a half ago, get a cold sore, so I've been letting that heal, but I still have a little residue with just dry skin, just recovering from that. But I exfoliated my lips this morning, and I don't think it looks too bad. There's a little bit of dry skin right in here, but it doesn't look bad. So this is what we are going to do for our wear test. And to start it, we are calling the start time at nine o'clock. It's 8.58. So now that I have this on, it is drying. I'm not really smacking my lips together. It's nearly dry. So you can see just the teeniest bit has transferred. So I'm gonna let this fully dry while we zoom out and swatch these. I'll have the link to Clove and Hollow down below, but uh, they marked these as a very long wear liquid lipstick that doesn't transfer. I was watching a couple videos of like people drinking from their cups and whatnot and it not transferring. So I'm gonna stop talking and swatch this. This is called Fever. They're nicely opaque. They're a very moussey type of formula, not like super liquidy. So they glide on very nicely. And I don't like, as you saw with the lip application, there really isn't any issues when it comes to like patchiness and whatnot. So I really like that about it. This is the one I'm wearing called Sugar Bear. This is Fiesta. It's a nice like orange red. Let me make sure I'm in frame here. I wanted to try this one out today, but my look went much differently than I, I had planned and it just won't go with the with the colors on my eyes. So we'll try that another day. But if this formula is really good, then I feel like anytime I get a solid formula that wears really bulletproof, I always like to have a red in that formula because if I'm gonna wear a red lipstick ever, I wanna make sure it's bulletproof. And then I had to get asked for this one as well. This is in the shade Jet Setter just because it's a blue. And I don't really have. I think I have one blue in Smashbox is always on liquid lipstick formula, but I'm pretty sure it's probably dried up on now because it's like three, four years old. So this one is definitely a bit sheer, or not sheer, but just streakier as you apply it. But that's the first one out of all, you know, all four of these. I felt like all four of them was really easy to apply and glide on. And then this blue one just uh, was a little bit of back and forth. So I'll be interested to see how that applies on the lips. I am going to be um, sharing lip swatches. I'll go ahead and do that now. These are going to be on a different day though, just because I figured I didn't want to do it right before doing this wear test and really beat up my lips a whole lot. So here you go. These are all the liquid lipsticks or the three other liquid lipsticks uh, swatched on my lips just so you can see how they apply and you'll be able to see if that blue uh, jet setter causes any problems or anything like that but yeah these are the liquid lipsticks this is how it looks it feels really nice on my lips like it feels very lightweight i can tell i'm wearing something but nothing like it's not uncomfortable it's not drying i don't feel like it's um you know shrinking my lips at all or anything like that it feels just like a lipstick is on my lips so that is really nice but i can put my lips together 
there's a teeniest bit of tack to them when you put your lips together, but nothing that kind of keeps your lips together, so that's good. And yeah, like I said, it looks really nice and no kind of patchiness. I see a line where I have that dry patch, but it's not peeling up or flaking or anything like that. So yeah, we're just going to start, like I said, start time is 9 o'clock, and I will just check in. I'm not going to do like 8 hours or 9 hours or whatever. I'm just going to check in as I feel like it needs. So the next time that I check in is going to be when I feel like it's starting to wear away, whether that be for me drinking water, for me having lunch, whatever the case may be. So yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right to my next check-in now. All right, so it is now time for my first checkup. I have little Levi here with me, so if you hear any little noises, that's him down here in my lap. He just got fed, so he's quite content. Anyway, it is about one o'clock right now, so I think it's been about three hours. I think I put the makeup on or the lipstick on at nine o'clock, and I think it's time for a checkup. I did um, have lunch, and before that, I had been drinking water. I took a couple sips of my coffee, um, and then for lunch, I just had a grilled cheese that I kind of like broke apart and popped into my mouth and then a sweet potato, um, like a baked sweet potato that I ate with a fork. So I tried to eat all of that and drink carefully. I didn't drink with a straw or anything, so I did just tip the cup up and whatnot, but I tried to eat carefully. And as you can see, like, it's not terrible. I think you'll be able to see one of the patches, but, um... On this side where I told you guys I had that dry, flaky spot, it's flaked off in that spot. So definitely something to keep in mind if you have dry flakes. This will definitely make it drier. But other than that, I haven't noticed anything too big. You got a lot to say. It does not transfer. I've been checking with lots of kisses today and so bright. I haven't seen any transfer on the baby, on the kids or anything, even on my fingers. It does not transfer, so that's really nice. Didn't see any transfer on my cup or my coffee cup or anything like that. So that flake is really the only issue. And then also it's starting to wear down a little bit on the inside rim, which isn't to be unexpected. Like, it's to be expected. That's what I'm trying to say. When it comes to liquid lipsticks, as you wear it, it's not unusual for that to start to transfer. I did notice, though, at one time I looked in the bathroom mirror, and I noticed I had lipstick on my teeth. I don't know if that was from when I applied it, because it was a little crazy when I applied it, and with the kids and all that, he started to fall asleep. Um, or what, but it did transfer onto my teeth, and I cleaned it off, and I haven't really noticed it. Maybe just a little bit with more of, like, the dry parts of the lipstick starting to flake off and get onto my teeth. So, yeah. At three hours, I've had better lipsticks. Or I've, had, I've had lipsticks wear better and also feel more comfortable, I forgot to mention, but I'm starting to feel... Like I can tell I have a liquid lipstick on my lips. It's not super drying. I definitely think my lips up close look more dry than when I first applied it, but it's not the most uncomfortable liquid lipstick I've ever worn, and it's also not the most co most comfortable. I think I said that right. It's not the worst. It's not the best. Um, so far at three hour wear test, it's kind of right in the middle. I am going to reapply just on those spots and then maybe a little bit in the inside because if I was wearing this for real out in, like, in the world, I would touch that up. And I, I'll be curious to see if it kind of solves the issue or if it just flakes off worse. Like, I'll be curious to see what adding lipstick does to it. And I'm not going to, like, reapply the whole thing. I'm just going to touch up that one, two spots where it's flaked off and then a little bit on the inside. Okay, so just like that, I did notice that when I was applying it, I must have a dry spot up here because I went to swipe it on and it kind of picked up that flaky spot. I managed to lay it back down, so we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I feel like that spot's probably just going to flake off here in a little bit. But anyway, letting that dry. And it looks like it covered that spot. It definitely looks a bit thicker, even though I tried not to apply too much or like do my whole lip. But it definitely looks a bit drier and a bit thicker now. I don't know. We'll have to keep waiting and seeing. I'm about to go drink the rest of my coffee, which I'd only taken a few sips. So I'm going to drink the rest of my coffee, finish my food, play with the little man, and I will be back soon with my next checkup whenever something interesting happens or if I'm just ready to take this li liquid lipstick off. So see you very soon. All right, so I am ready to close out this video. Yeah, I got a new shirt. Uh, little man barfed all over me. He's in my arms once again, and the kiddos are awake. Hi. I haven't done too much uh, since the last check-in. Oh yeah, let me let you guys know, the time is just about four o'clock, so I think we're at the seven hour mark, and I'm gonna be closing out here, as I said. I didn't do too much. 
after my last check-in, I finished my coffee and I ate a bar, but I ate it just kind of popping in my mouth, so I really didn't touch my lipstick at all. But um, as you can see, I was taking the close-ups here, but the spot that's dry flaked off again, and I think that's just because I have really dry lips right now because they're still... It's winter, they were recovering, all that jazz. So keep that in mind if you're someone with very flaky lips. I don't think this is a lipstick that would be for you. It's not forgiving. It looks okay on the dry lips when you first apply, but it very quickly turns south, I would say after like two hours max. So that's a little disappointing, but if you have really good lips, I would say it'll last up until you really eat something. Cause even like this side that isn't super dry. Okay, I just turned the lighting down cause I think I'm a little washed out. But anyway, even the side that wasn't super dry and like my top lip, it's like flaking off of it here and just both my bottom lip and top lip, it's just very much accentuated. So I would say this lipstick looks nice around the two to three, maybe four hour mark and with like minimal drinking. I feel like as soon as I really started drinking and eating a lot, that's when it, the lipstick started turning tacky. Now it's still not transferring. Like I haven't seen it on anything on my kids at all or anything like that. So that's nice, but it just, there's a sticky feeling to it whenever I put my lips together. It just feels a little more uncomfortable and noticeable. Again, it's not the most uncomfortable liquid lipstick I've ever tried. And I'll definitely continue to try them out through this, you know, this next month and give you guys a full review. But for my first initial review, seven hours, I'm done. I don't, I want to take this lipstick off and put on a good lip balm because they definitely have that feeling of just, they need something. They need some moisture. And like I said, anytime I put my lips together, it's just getting more and more sticky as the time goes on. So I am ready to close out this video. But those are my first impressions. This is my wear test. I hope you guys found it helpful. I'm very curious to see if it performs better throughout the day if my lips are in a better condition or if it's just one that it's a great liquid lipstick that is very foolproof but once you start eating it's just just best to remove it all together and either reapply or just move on with your day which I don't mind there's a time and a place for that type of liquid lipstick and I don't mind having a liquid lipstick that looks great and then I can eat my meal and then maybe after the meal I go to the bathroom or something just completely take it off but at least I know like, while eating it won't look terrible but yeah that is going to do it for this video I hope you guys found it helpful and like I said stay tuned for my official review I'm not saying this li liquid lipstick is terrible I'm not saying it's amazing I'm just saying I'm going to have to continue testing it and I hope just being able to see the wear test in real time my first time trying it on my lips and wearing it for an extended period of time was informative for you guys but anyway as always let me know if there's any way I can improve on these first impression wear test videos I'll leave that down below in the comments but yeah with all that said thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video bye guys